All right, I'm gonna keep this video really, really brief. But how many times have you been doing a bench press and as you're doing the bench press, your back and your head, your whole body is just sliding all over the bench? This is a really annoying problem. And a lot of commercial gyms have benches that are really smooth and they don't have a ton of stick. And a lot of people are wearing shirts, especially if you're sweating, where you're sliding all around on the bench. And this can be a major problem when you're actually pressing heavier loads. Like it's, it's, it's an actual situation which can not only be potentially dangerous, so you're sliding all over the place, but it is also something that can prevent you from actually adding more load and making progress. So what's a really simple solution, again, keeping this super brief, all we need is something that is directly under, hopefully somewhere like the upper back or potentially even a little bit lower that can increase the amount of friction between what is effectively the bench at that point and the back. And the most simple solution I've ever found to this, and it's a really cheap solution too, is to purchase something like this. What is this? This is basically cabinet liner. You put it in your cabinet and you put dishes and cups on top of it so that the dishes and cups don't move around. Now, this is super cheap. I'll put a link in the description where you can buy it on Amazon. You can buy a whole roll for like $7. No, not sponsored by Big Mesh. Don't care about Big Mesh. Just care about the Big Bench thing, right? Um, so just keep that in mind. I have no affiliation with this or whatever it is. I don't even remember where I got this one, but it's super cheap. You basically just cut out a little bit of it. And before you go down to bench, it doesn't even have to be this long, but I would recommend it's about the length, you know, of like from your shoulders to your belly button or so. Just basically cut it the width of the benches that you're going to be on, or maybe a little bit wider so you have some extra room for it to slump off. Put it on the bench. All of a sudden, your sliding problems are totally taken care of. And this is something that, again, even though it is cheap, I've had this one for probably more than four years at this point. Um, condition is still great. Maybe it gets a little stinky. And, you know, if it does get stinky, just, you know, cut a new, cut a new thread if you buy a roll and, um, you know, you can do this across multiple exercises. So keep in mind, you can do this on a machine. If you find that you're sliding up on or down on any machine, put it over the machine. It doesn't just have to apply to bench press. But again, quick video, quick purchase. I'll put the link down below um, to get it if you want to solve this problem. Hope it helps.